Petting Zoo is a multi-agent reinforcement learning library. If you're having troubles installing it, this is the video for you. Let's try to get it installed. I'm going to click on basic usage. Unfortunately, this library is not supported on Windows. However, it is supported on Linux and we can run Linux from within Windows 10 or Windows 11 pretty easily now. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to enable Linux and then we're going to get this library installed. Come down to the start menu, type in turn Windows feature on and off. Click on this. Go down here, make sure your virtual machine platform is checked. Make sure Windows subsystem for Linux is checked. If they're not, check both of them, click OK, reboot, and then come back. Now let's hop over to this Microsoft guide on how to enable Windows subsystem for Linux. Let me scroll down here. Make sure your Windows meets the requirement listed right here. If it doesn't, you might want to follow the manual page. If you do, let's hop down here and copy this command. Now it says that we need to open command prompt as administrator. So I'm going to click on the start menu. I have command prompt here. Right click on it. Run as administrator. Paste in that command. Hit enter. For you, this should automatically install Ubuntu. However, since I already did this, it's showing me a list of other distributions that I can install. So if you want to install other distributions, you can do it by running WSL-install and passing in the distribution name. If you see a message that says WSL needs to update, then you can run WSL-update to uh, update it. Okay, Linux should be installed at this point. Let's see how we can access it. I'm going to hop down to Tutorials, click on Best Practices, jump down to where it talks about Windows Terminal. Windows Terminal is like PowerShell or the Command Prompt. But you can do multiple tabs and customizations, so it's more suitable for Linux. So let's get this installed. I'm going to click on this link right here, and I'm going to click on Install Windows Terminal. This opens up Microsoft Store. I can view it in my Microsoft Store app. And then get it installed. Okay, it's done. Let me open it. It's going to look like Command Prompt or PowerShell, but it is not. So I'm clicking on this little arrow on the right here. So that Ubuntu, I'm launching Linux for the first time. It's going to ask me to create a username. This doesn't have to match your Windows account. So I'll just put in a username here and a password. There we go, we got Linux up and running. The next thing we need is to install Miniconda within Linux so that we can create a virtual environment for Petting Zoo. We don't need this, we don't need this anymore. Good with this. Right, I'm at the Miniconda installation page. I'm gonna go down all the way to the bottom, click on Linux, and just paste, copy and paste in the commands here. I'll just copy everything. Paste. Okay, let's see what it did. It created a folder called Miniconda, performed the installation, and then did some cleanup. So Miniconda is installed, and there's two more commands that we need to run to add Miniconda to our path. Okay, it's asking me to close and reopen my shell. I'll just close the whole thing before I do that. Let me pin this to my taskbar. Now close it, open it back up. You can see that Conda is enabled. This is the base Conda installation. Now I want to create an environment to hold Petting Zoo. I'm going to do Conda create dash n for name, and I'm calling it Petting Zoo environment. All right, environment created. I'm going to activate the environment. Once it's activated, you can see that on the left. Now going back, we don't need Anaconda anymore. Going back here, Petting Zoo is good up to Python 3.11. So let's get that installed within our environment. 
kinda install python equal to 3.11. Okay, now we are ready to install petting zoo. Let me put this side by side. Now, I wish I can just do pip install all, but we're going to get a whole bunch of errors even in Linux. So I'm going to do it one at a time. This one I know is going to be good. Okay, next one. For the next one, let me do classic. Okay, let's do a quick test in VS Code. We need to install some stuff in VS Code to make it work with WSL. So I'm back at the uh, Microsoft page. Go down to Tutorials. Go to the Get Started with VS Code. Install VS Code and Extensions. This Remote Development Pack is what we need. Click on Install. going to ask me to open it in VS Code. I'll open it. Okay, I'm going to install it. All right, I think it's installed. Let me close it up. I'll close this. And now back in Linux. Okay, I'm going to make a new directory. I'll call it my projects. Make another directory. I'll call it petting zoo test. And I'm going to go into the petting zoo test folder. From here, I'm going to type in code dot. This is how I launch VS Code. The dot means use the current folder as my project folder. Hit enter. Okay, you can see that VS Code, this is actually the Windows version of VS Code, but it's working seamlessly with Linux. So here I can create a test file. If you go back to Windows Terminal now, you can see that the test.py file is created in that petting zoo folder that we just created. Wants me to install Python extension. I'll go ahead and install that. If you go over to the extensions, let me clear that. You can see that now there is two categories. One is local, meaning whatever's installed in VS Code in Windows. And also, you see another category. These are the extensions that apply to Linux. All right, back to our file. I'm gonna come down to the sample code. I'll just copy that, paste it in here. I'll hit F5 run it as a Python file. Here we go, we got connect four up and running. Let me just stop it. Now we can try another one. Let's try chess. Should be a sample code here. I'll copy that. I'll just replace this, run it. We got chess up and running. Now let's keep going. Okay, so this is the classic games. Let's go over to Butterfly. Do pip install Butterfly. All right, now we start seeing problems. We can see here that it's complaining about uh, not having the GCC or the C, C++ compiler. We can install that. First, we want to do an update to our the Linux uh, package manager. If you're not familiar with Linux, sudo means to switch to uh, root or administrator. apt is the application package tool, and then we're just updating it. Okay, now we can do now we can do app install gcc. This is the C C++ compiler. Hit yes. Okay, that install is done. We can try petting zoo butterfly again. All right, this one is good. I'll copy the uh, sample code from here. Replace my test, run it. All right, this one is good. 
Uh, there's another one down here. Might as well try it out. Cool. All right. Okay, so classic butterfly is done. Let's do MPE. Okay, run this command. Uh, looks like MPE is good to go. Let's try it out. Okay, MPE doesn't give us any problems. Let's keep going. We got SISL. Paste it down here. Let's install it. All right, so it's complaining about not having swig. I did this in the Genasium install. We can just do conda install swig. Yes. Okay, swig is installed. Do SISL again. Another error. You know what, when I first install it, I install Atari before this one. So let me just try that. I'm gonna install Atari and then I'm gonna come back to this. Atari is not gonna be happy. It's gonna complain about CMake. We can install CMake like this. Try petting zoo. Atari again. Now it's going to complain about something else. The error is right here. So this is, uh, I Google this. This is uh, some kind of extension to CMake. Another thing that we need to install. We need to install something called Build Essentials. Okay, let's do Atari once again. Still not happy. Let's see what the error is. Okay, now it's complaining about something about Zlib after some Googling. Clear this again. We need Zlib 1G dash dev. All right, let's do Atari again. All right, Atari is installed, but none of the games are installed. So we need to click on auto ROM. command that we want is this one. Okay, finally, we can try this code. Space invaders to players. Oh, there's one more command that I need to run. We go back to this page and then you gotta run auto ROM. Auto ROM. Yes, done, okay. Back here, restart it. All right, there's our two player space invaders. Okay, we got one more to go, and that is the SISL. All right, this one is good. Let me try it. Okay, there you have it, everything installed. Now, if you run into any problems, maybe try to install it in the exact same order that I did. Some of those dependencies like GCC, uh, Zlib, CMake, I don't know exactly which, li which, which one of these modules depend on which one. So try to do it in the order that I did. All right, uh, drop me a comment if this works for you. Give me a like subscribe or if anything goes wrong put it in the comments uh, i'll try to help you out catch you in the next video